We got another great guest today. We're talking with Miguel Ponce. Miguel, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Thank you for the invitation. I was a lucky man during my career. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I had the opportunity to to go to a World Cup. You know, that's like the most uh, tournament for a soccer player. And yes, uh, I was a gold medalist as well. Incredible that even if you didn't get minutes, that you're there. I mean, you're a big part of why the team got there, right? Yeah, I, way. I, actually, it's very important, even though you don't play. Uh, you have to be a very good teammate. You have to support your your friends because if they win, you win. Sometimes you are not going to play and you have to keep working hard as if you're playing. Yeah. But you have to be prepared for the moment uh, you get the opportunity because if you don't, if you're not prepared and, and if you think you're not going to play, uh, when you get the opportunity, you're not going to do it right. Yeah. So even though you're not playing, you have to work hard for you. Yeah. For you and for, for the opportunity you are waiting for. It's so important to have that mentality in life. You always have to look for the best version of you so you can help your your team. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's great. It's great. Let, let's learn a little bit about you. Uh, yeah, what was your childhood like? Did you, how long were you here? I know you also lived in Mexico for a while. Uh, I was born here in Sacramento, but my, my, my mom was deported, so I had to go back to Mexico. I was in arms, so we uh, went back to Mexico, and I started like my life in Mexico. My dad uh, stayed here for, for working, so we had to come closer. So I started to live in Tijuana for like one or two years, and then uh, Chivas uh, came to me, and they invited me to, to be part of the of the team so wow. i went back 14 years old 14 years old amazing yeah it was it was it was it was difficult you know i bet uh you're too young your mom uh gives you everything when you're at home but when, when you're outside man you have to look for you yourself you have to do everything you have to wash your clothes you have to man you have to do everything so so it was kind of hard and you have to be like very mature in a very young age. Wow. If you want to make it in, in, in anything in, in your life, you have to be disciplined. Yes. You got to have discipline in your life. If not, you're not going to make it. Any obstacle that you came across that was really traumatic that maybe was like... <sighs> Actually, a lot. I mean, when I first came to Chivas, um, actually, I was, I was alone. There was nobody in the club because they were in vacations. So I was like four or five days alone by myself wow. in the complex. And I don't know, I just hang on the phone and, and call my mom and, and say, hey, mom, I don't want to be here. I want to go back home. And I was crying. And she was like, why? This is what you wanted. So just wait for one or two days. They will be back. And, and, and then you're going to get some friends. And, and then you're going to forget about this. And I was like, okay, mama. I'm going to do what you're saying right now. And yeah, that, that'll help. that's what happens. A lot of personalities and, and, and also the, the welcome was uh, all the, the, the people that, that was living in the, in the complex, they, uh, they'll get, uh, I don't know, like in a meeting and, and, and they uh, like kick you in, in with, with the belt oh, or with man. the hands or yeah. with the sandals. That was the welcome for the, every, every the player. Hazing. Ooh. For every player that was their first time in the complex. Oh, man. Yeah. So you have to get a beat down, and that's yeah. a, oh, yeah. man, the old uh, hazing uh, initiation type of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's rough. What was that like traveling for the first time when you got to, like, do you uh, remember your first game? International, you... it was, it was, it was like, more exciting because in Mexico you used to go, like, from city to city. Yeah. But coming to the to the States, uh, playing an international tournament, it was – it was it was amazing because you play against uh, international teams like Real Madrid, Manchester City. Yeah, yeah, all you, all those youth clubs. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. So tell me a little on the personal life. So you just had a baby. Yeah. Congrats. Now I'm living this new life. I'm I'm a I'm a daddy right now. I have a newborn and I have a one year old. Uh, <laughs> we were going fast. So. Strikers uh, invited me to play for the for the team. Fantastic. So, so let's talk about the strikers. So you come from playing traditional soccer. Now you're playing strikers is indoor soccer. 
uh, very fast paced, very aggressive. Uh, how do you feel with the transition from traditional soccer to? Yeah, it's, it's uh, more different. Uh, not difficult, but you have to learn like the rules really, really quick. Yeah. So you can have like a, a better uh, understanding of the of the game. What advice do you have for them to? Yeah, like like I said, if you want to make uh, your dream come true, you have to. You gotta have commitment and discipline. Those two words are very important for you to make or to do whatever you want. If you have discipline, if you have commitment, you're going to make it because that is very important. Without discipline, I'm sorry, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be tougher for you to make it. But trust me, discipline is the word you need to have in your life, in your life, not just because you like soccer or you like sports. In your life, whatever you do, you gotta have discipline. That's it. <laughs>